Good afternoon, ladies and gents. We are going to continue today with a new paper. Um, it's a paper four from 2013, and it's of the October-November sitting. Well, the first question is, let's, let's just jump directly in. Um, the first question reads, tickets uh, for the theatre cost either $10 or $16. Um, <coughs> calculate the total cost of uh, 197 tickets at $10 each and 95 tickets at $16 each. Okay, so this is a quite an easy problem. So we'll just have 197 times the 10 plus the uh, 95 times the $16. And if I do that calculation, I should get um, 3490 on my calculator. Okay, good. So let's move on to question B. On Monday, okay, 157 tickets were sold at $10. Okay, and N, and N tickets were sold at $16. The total value of the total cost, so if I, if I added these two up, I would get um, 4 0 Sorry, let me write, rewrite it. Four thousand and eighteen dollars. Okay, so that this must be the total. How do I solve this? It's pretty much the same as what we've had in the previous problem. We're just going to say it would be one five seven times ten plus n times sixteen would give us a result of four o one eight. That would give us 1570 plus 16n equals 4018. I subtract 157 on both sides. And that leaves me with 16n equals 2448. Divide by 16 on both sides. N, the result of n would be 153. So there was 154 tickets that were sold at $16 each. Okay, good. Let's move on to the next question. Question C. On the Tuesday, okay, on Tuesday, 319 tickets were sold altogether. And the total cost uh, was the total. 3784 using x as the number for $10 tickets and y for the number of $16 tickets write down two equations in terms of x and y and then solve use these equations to find the number of $10 tickets and the number of $16 tickets sold okay so this is where five marks we've got to do some bits we know that if i have x plus y tickets, there was a 319 tickets. That's for one, on the one side of the, the deal. On the other side, we know that there was eight, ten, the $10 tickets was X amount, plus the Y dollar tickets, the $16 tickets was Y, dollars, um, y amount of tickets. The result is 3784. Okay, now I've got two equations with both two unknowns in it, and we can solve it simultaneously. Well, I've got 10 there, there I only have x, so if I multiply this equation by 10, I should get 10x, and if I subtract the two from one another, it will eliminate my x's. So 10x plus 10y equals 3190. Okay, I can subtract the two equations from one another. So <coughs> let's just subtract that one from that. So there we go. Um, 10x plus 16y equals 3784. I subtract all the terms that give me negative 6y equals negative, uh, what do I have there? Um, 594. Divide by negative 6 on both sides, I get y as 99, okay? 
now I have to still find the x value of this. Okay, I've got to go back into one of my original equations. So let's change co pen color here so that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to take this value there, substitute it into this original function and solve for x. So when y equals 99, x plus 99 equals 319 and x would be 220 and we are done with number c okay let's go to number d okay we'll move question two out of the way for a second okay on wednesday the cost of 16 dollars stickers was reduced by 15 percent calculate this new reduced cost okay so there is the original box in the original box I write down the original price okay now on Wednesday this was reduced by 15% so I actually removed a bit of it 15% okay what would be left there it would be 85% left from my original amount this original amount is what oh, the 85% of original amount is what? So our silly little rhyme says a percentage of a number equals another number. Percentage would be then 85% of a number that $16 would give us another number. If I do that calculation on my com uh, calculator, I would get $13.60. So the new price would be $13.60 for, for D. Let's move on to question E. The cost, uh, the ten dollar ticket, cost twenty five percent more than it did last year. Calculate the cost of last year. So last year is my original amount, and that would be X. Okay, and we are going to add twenty five percent to that. So do you agree with me that last year, um, the value of last year was a full hundred percent? Okay. Good, so this, this new percentage, the 125% um, is what um, of the number would be equal to, to 10. Okay, now so let's see, um, how do I solve this? We say just silly rhyme, percentage of a number equals another number. My percentage is the 125% of x equals 10 so x would be 10 divided by 125 percent and i do the calculation that should give me eight dollars okay this concludes question one let's move on to question two you can move this back okay good in a quadrilateral a b c d a b a b where's a b a b a, B is 77, B, C is 120, C, D is 60, um, and the diagonal A, C is 55 meters. The angle C, A, D, C, A, D is 45 degrees, and B, A, C is X degrees, A, D, C is Y. And now they ask us to calculate the, the X value calculate x the next one should be calculate y so i've got x here um i've got the opposite side and i've got two adjacent sides this is not a 90 degree triangle so i cannot use Pythagorean theorem neither can i use my straight um uh, trigonometry identities um however i can use the cosine rule the cosine rule says a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a a squared is opposite the angle that i want so it would be 120 squared okay now b and c is uh, i can use it alternatively so 77 plus squared plus 55 squared minus 2 77 55 cosine of a that's what i want okay now let's solve this would give me, if I plug that into my calculator, um, 
if I could just do that. 120 squared would give us 14400 equals, I can add these two values up, 8954 minus these two, I can, or these three, I can multiply together, 8470 cosine A. Now, I subtract 8954 on both sides. That would leave me with 5446 equals negative 8470 cosine A. Okay, let's move it up. Divide on both sides by this negative. So cosine A would be 5446 divided by 8470. Okay, I want to find O, so I'll have to write the inverse, cosine inverse of negative 5546 over 8470. It give me A. The value of A, if I plug that thing on my calculator, should give me 130.0 degrees. Okay, so thus, X equals 130 degrees. And I'm quite happy with that. And I'm going to substitute it in here on my sketch. Okay, 130. Now they ask us, so X we found is 130. Okay, now they ask us to find Y. Well, um, I can use the same thing um, if I really wanted to. But... I have an angle and I've got a side and I don't have that angle. So I'm going to sit with a little bit of an issue there. Maybe the sine rule. The sine rule would give us a nice nice way there. Let me just use a different paper. Okay. So what do I know about the sine rule? The sine rule is sine A over A equals sine B over B. So the sine of A over its length equals the sine of b over its length. Ha, ah, there I've got y. So that would work. Okay, so sine of 45 over 60 equals sine of y over 55. Okay, let's quickly solve here. Multiply on both sides by 55. So sine y equals 55 sine 45 over 60 so sine inverse of 55 sine 45 over 60 will give me y if i plug that into my calculator i should get an answer of 40.4 degrees okay good so i'm going to substitute it in here 40.4 degrees good now um, for number c they ask us, let me just quickly read the question, the bearing of the D from A is 90 degrees. So if we look at bearings, um, we know that a bearing would be directly north. So I am just going to draw in a few norths here. And remember, if I draw the norths, all these norths will be parallel to one another because they all pointing towards north okay so they're all parallel to one another okay so now what do they want find the bearing okay so sorry the bearing of d from a the bearing of d from a so this angle here is 90 degrees it doesn't look so in my sketch but that's what they said it's 90 degrees okay then they say calculate the bearing of A from C. So I'm standing at C and, I, and I'm facing north. I'm standing actually here on north and I want to find the bearing that will go all the way to A. So I'm looking at this bearing over there. How am I going to find it? Well, first of all, if I recognize that these are two parallel lines, two parallel lines, and I have a transversal that cuts it, then the two angles over there would be equal to, the sum of the two angles will be equal to 180 degrees. Okay, good. So let's look at this bit first here. Do you see that I've got 150 plus um, 
of 45 would give me this whole angle here. If I subtract the 90 degrees, that part, I will be left with this little sliver. And that's what I want. Okay. If I have that, then I can find the, this angle. I just deduct it from one another. So let me quickly write it down uh, in a different color. So I have 130 plus 45 would give me 175. If I deduct the 90 degrees from it, that would give me 85 degrees. So this part is 85 degrees. I can find what the value of this little bit is. Let me quickly do that. That would give me 45. Okay, so now I know that the 45 plus x would give me the 180. So 45 plus x would give me 180. Maybe I shouldn't call it x. Maybe I call, call this bit z. Okay, that one is z. So if I have a 45 plus a z, it would give me 180. So the value of z um, should be um, 135. Okay, so if I have that as 135 degrees, now look, that is just part of a circle that is 360 degrees. So to eventually to find this bearing um, of A from C, I would say... It is uh, 360 degrees minus the 135 degrees, and that would give us 275 degrees. So this bearing there is 275 degrees. Okay, good. Let's continue with the next little bit. And they ask us there, find the bearing of B from A. Of B from A. So I want to find this bearing over here. The bearing of B from A. So it would be all the way there. That's the bearing that I want. Well, it's a hundred and three hundred and sixty degrees minus this body. That's 85. That would give me the bearing. So it is 360 degrees minus the 85 degrees and that should give you 275 degrees is that right no did i do sorry the first one i made an error there that's not 275 it must be 225 okay that's 275 thank you i'm so glad that i saw that error good let's go on to the next question are we running out of time for this youtube um, question 3 will be on the next one. See you soon.